Hello, hello again. Welcome back to a, another video. <laughs> it's been a long time since I did a video, so I thought I'd have to jump in and get it done. Uh, this time I'm going to break up the videos into smaller pieces because they have been quite large videos. That is usually the way I prefer to do things, but this time I'm going to I'm going to try and make these smaller. So this is going to be probably a three-part series of videos that I'll try to keep around 10 minutes each. Uh, maybe the last one will be longer. But this is basically about optimizing landscapes using Unreal Engine 5.4. Um, the first video I will be looking at general kind of preparation for it and the well partition runtime settings. Then I will be jumping into LODs, landscape LODs, uh, and their settings and the visualizer. And then for the final one, it will be HLODs, which will be hierarchical level of detail. And between those three videos, you should be able to at least have a decent understanding of those three bits and bobs. So let's go for it. First things first, I'm going to open up my console variables window which is something from a previous video that I suggest you go and check out because this saves you a lot of time. Rather than typing out your console commands, you can just input them into presets and save them. And you can then just, they automatically apply these and you can just execute some other commands. Um, I've just added, this is a basic one because it's just general stuff that I always apply. So now we have our stat units and our FPS counter. Now, if I play from here, basically, we can see that we are not rendering in the distance. We are getting a fairly decent FPS, I guess. It's kind of up and down. It's, it's okay. I am recording and whatnot, so there are those elements to be considered with my performance. But basically, we have those issues. So we're going to just stop playing, and I'm going to show you some things to basically allow you to see that landscape in the distance using runtime settings or well partition runtime settings. So in order to view those settings, we need to go up into the top right corner where it says settings, choose world settings. And then we have this world partition setup tab, runtime setting settings, and then this grid drop down. You can also pop open this index. So these are the settings that basically show what we are rendering and if we was to use this preview grid get that ticked we get a preview grid now you can see the grid and how far it goes which you should now essentially understand that the reason we aren't rendering those things in the distance is because they are not within this grid so if we was to change some of this around we would then start to see our landscape streaming. So before we do, do that, let's just have a little look at these different things. Obviously you can change the grid name if you want, just always would leave it at the moment. Cell size is basically, as it says, the cell size. This might be more relevant based upon your proxy size. So your landscape streaming proxy size, might, you know, mine are quite large in this uh, instance. So it might be that, you know, these these grids aren't really that important for the landscape, but it might be that later on down the line, these grids will be better, smaller, based upon the assets that you have. It might be like trees or rocks or something that uh, might get funneled into this grid. But as a rule of thumb, I just keep these quite large initially. But that's up to you to just play around with. Um, loading range is the actual loading range, the one that's kind of probably more important for most people. And I'm just going to, you know, add a zero and that will cover most of this landscape. You can see that we have just these parts that are obscured, but by the time the player runs there, so you have this dot in the center. I just forgot to say that that's the camera position or the player position essentially. And as you move across you can see that that's what's going to be loaded and let's just return back to this little spot here other things are you know i would you know you can read these should streaming block in situations where cells aren't getting loaded fast enough haven't actually tested that one to check out maybe i should these ones are kind of would just leave um, and then this one is essentially just the color 
of your preview grid. And that is up to you. Let's go bright yellow, nice and sickly. But yeah, that's basically the general gist of this stuff. So now that we've actually multiplied or added a zero onto the loading range, we should, when we press play, see the entire map. So I would expect worse performance using this method because basically what we're doing is we are just, you know, streaming everything at once. So, you know, on certain machines, this might be a really bad option to do this. Well, it's probably, it's, it's almost definitely a bad option. So um, I'm just showing you this method because it might, you know, this is the amount you would stream is dependent on the, I would say, resolution of your map. Uh, there's different scenarios that will require different setups, basically. Now, if you have a lower resolution map and it's flatter, you might be able to get away with streaming large distances. If you've got a high resolution map, you probably won't be able to get away with it. So high resolution, large scale, you're not really going to be able to use just this, you know, just render everything at once. But in some scenarios you might be able to. So it really is about you testing with the setup that you have and what kind of performance you get from that, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. This isn't just something you should just follow and do. I'm just showing you how it works. That is basically runtime settings for World Petition. I actually think that's a bit too, a bit too bright. So I'm going to just bring down that grid there. So that'll be my one. So yeah, that's that basically. You can play around with it depending on your setup at your proxies etc and see what you need for your setup so that is essentially runtime settings i'm going to end the video there and we're going to move on to lod's landscape lod's on the next video so jump across to that one and we will continue from this point